My name is Felicia Mezadu, your guide to the best clothes, products, tips, and ideas that help you look and feel your best. So today I have a video on style. We're continuing on with our style series at Target. So if you are looking for a video that puts you closer to the personal style that you want, then this is the place to be. Thank you for visiting me today. So welcome on back if you're already a part of this community. And if you are new to this channel, this is your new first video, then you are in for a treat. I will not disappoint you. Also, I want you to take out some time to subscribe to this channel. I do upload videos weekly and go ahead take some time out hit that red subscribe button and then also hit that notification button so you'll never miss out on any time that I post a video you'll never miss out so um, like I said we are jumping back into the Target series the Target style series I did get some requests last uh, for the last video that I had on the Target style series where I did style some pieces if you haven't seen that video definitely take some time to look at those videos uh, I do just want to thank you all who actually sat through those videos because I filmed those videos standing up and I wanted to do something different because I wanted to showcase my background I have my my wardrobe in the back and I wanted to showcase that as like a backdrop and then also show you the pieces that I purchased but it didn't work out so well for me you know um, at that time the focus just wasn't on my side it wouldn't let me be great unfortunately so it was kind of a little blurry I wasn't really in focus girls I didn't like my hair I didn't like my makeup I didn't like anything about that video really except for the styling portion so thank you for sitting through that and if you can if you decided to subscribe because of that video I appreciate you so moving on to um, going to Target I uh, yes I was requested by two lovely ladies in the comment section to put together a video where I would be styling pieces for moms and students that are on the go that are really really busy I get it I used to be a student at one point now that I'm not a student I look back at those times and I say to myself oh my goodness some of the choices that I made going to school it just it wasn't right I had one job one job that was to get to school and look presentable doing it and sometimes I wasn't I didn't always succeed at that there were just some times that I just couldn't get it together I really could not get it together I take your request very seriously ladies so I'm responding with this video and I took a trip to Target this week I explored the different areas in Target like the areas for casual wear, the areas for sportswear, loungewear, like workout, workout clothes. I explored it all, ladies, even the shoe department. And I feel like I came up with some really great ideas for you all. And I hope you enjoy it. I tried everything on at the store because hauls can add up pretty quickly and keeping it 110% real I don't always have the coins to do these hauls so I had to think smarter and just style myself while I was there but today what I'm gonna do is show you ways to still look presentable and put together going um, when you have a mission to complete like when if you have to do it like in five ten six you know minutes I'm gonna show you how to put yourself together and how to kind of somewhat have like a uniform like a go-to uniform so that you just always look put together when you are leaving the house and we can do this ladies in sweats we can do this in t-shirts so without further ado we got work to do we e e e we got work to do we got a job baby in my personal observation and personal experience i do find that sweats and or active wear are the two most article of clothing that women gravitate to put on when they're in a hurry whether they're running errands or trying to go to class or doing something that involves them to be very quick about their business 
And I, I believe that's due to the fact that those articles of clothing are very comfortable. It feels good on the skin. It's quick to pick out. It's quick to put on and that's fine, but let's try and make it stylish. So for the first look, I did choose a pair of black joggers to style. Now these are by A New Day. And because they are extremely comfortable and quick to slip on, I thought that this would be the best pair of bottoms to select for somebody that's in a hurry. Now joggers are functional, they're really popular these days, they have a really good fit on them, they're a little bit more fitted on the ankle, and they can actually be very stylish. They're definitely a lot more stylish and chic than a traditional sweatpant, depending on like the fit and whatever design it may have, you know, coming down the sides of the seam. And it just allows you to play up your silhouette a little bit. So for the first look, I paired the joggers with a cream elbow length Henley top. And this top is also by A New Day. And I also paired it with a pair of black ballet flats. And I think pairing it with black ballet flats and then also this top, this Henley top, I think that it makes the outfit look a little bit more polished and intentional. Now this outfit is simple, it's easy, and the fabrics are really roomy and comfortable and very breathable. And I made sure that I was very intentional about choosing fabrics that were really breathable and just felt really good on the skin because when you're in a hurry and you're moving around a lot, the last thing you wanna do is have on clothes that that are very uncomfortable and don't really allow you to maneuver around the way that you would like to. So, and I know how I am when I was in class or even when I'm sitting in the car or I'm just running errands having to go to the bank and I'm amongst a crowd of people, I just wanna be in comfortable clothes. So I made sure I had that in mind when I, you know, I chose all these looks for you guys. This outfit can also be worn with sneakers. It's going to give off more of an active wear vibe if you wear them with sneakers, but either way, it still has a very chic pulled together look to it. It's effortless, it's quick, I keep saying that. And also to elevate the look, you also wanna probably add like some, some type of accessory, whether that's a bracelet, Hoops are like my go-to when I want to make my outfit look completely pulled together. So for me, I just have on my, my personal hoops that I actually own. They just are these just large gold hoops and it just makes the outfit look fully pulled together. For the second outfit, I swapped out the Henley shirt. Um, the joggers are pretty much the star of the show for this lookbook or this try on haul, if you will. Just because I wanted to show you how functional they are, they're very versatile, and how you can get a lot of use out of them if they are in your, if you purchase them for your wardrobe. And I did pair it with this Black Joy Lab layering sweatshirt. It has kind of this high low asymmetric detail. Please get into the fact that I have on all black everything, okay? All black everything is really going to slim your figure down if you're a little bit more self-conscious about your weight. But then also all black everything or just all black, it has a very nice way of making you look very chic. So opt for all black everything if that's the look that you're going for. This sweatshirt is really warm, it's cozy, and you can layer this sweatshirt on top of a sports bra or a tank top. I just have a regular old schmegular bra underneath it and I'm serving you skin honey. Not a lot, just a tease. And I think this keeps the active wear fresh and it makes it look chic and it's a little something sexy for all my ladies out there who like to keep their active wear a little sexy. And it's also still very age appropriate for someone that's in their 30s. So I thought that this was really, really uh, a good pick. It's a good look, it's a good look, ladies. Again, all the links to these items will be down in the description box. So make sure you check the description box if you're interested in any of the items that are in this try on haul slash lookbook styling video. I am wearing sneakers to give it a very cool, casual, sportsy vibe. Um, I felt like sneakers were the best compliment for this outfit. And of course, a pair of hoops to bring out the features in my face. Am I the only one that feels like their earrings bring out the features in their face? I mean, I don't know. Let me know down in the comment section. And this completes the look and you look fully pulled together. 
For the third look, I chose this lavender t-shirt with a knot detail. This shirt is from the Champion brand and it screams active wear. Now we're keeping it in the same family. I'm wearing the same exact joggers. I told you they were functional. And this is perfect for when you wanna wear just a little color. You wanna add a little color to your everyday, you know, your everyday look. And it's a nice fitted top with very comfortable, breathable fabric. And it also has that asymmetry detail happening with the back and the front, with that high low. And you can show a little midriff if you got it. If you got it to flaunt, girl, you can show a little bit. And if you want some tummy coverage like I do, you want to cover that tummy if you got a little extra in the middle not a lot just a little just a little bit of extra in the middle then you can certainly pull the top down and or pull up your joggers or whichever one and you have tummy coverage so you don't always have to show like your belly button we're doing the same old two-step with the same joggers sneakers and the same gold hoops and if you wanted to add a light wash denim jacket just to elevate the outfit a little bit, you know, just to make it seem like you were going somewhere and you didn't want that super sportsy look, you know, that super sportsy activewear look, then you can certainly throw on a denim jacket, pop the collar, pop the collar like you got something to do and just walk on about your business. And that would certainly work with this outfit. For the fourth look, I'm wearing the super comfy gray fleece joggers, also by Champion, by the Champion brand. And these joggers were so comfortable, I did not want to take them off. They almost got all my coins that day. Um, they were fitted and definitely accentuated my figure. You could see that, you know, I've had some extra uh, cornbread and you know the honey buns you can see it all in my thighs girl and that's okay but um, I like how they definitely accentuated my curvy figure and that you can see that you know I have some meat on my bones and it wasn't too tight it was a nice flattering fabric type of fleece and it was so comfortable so that's what I really liked about these uh, fleece joggers and also I paired it again with a blue, a navy blue Joy Lab layering sweatshirt. The same one as the black one in the previous look, but this time I wanted to layer it with a white tank top underneath. So if you're a little bit more self-conscious about your weight and showing skin, then you can definitely wear this sweatshirt with a tank top. And it still looks fresh, it still looks chic. And again, I did choose sneakers because I felt like they complemented this outfit the best. And if you know what's good for you, girl, then you better throw on those hoop earrings. So I was requested to style sweatpants and denim. So for the fifth look, I decided to style denim. And I just chose a pair of universal thread skinny jeans. And I also paired it with this cute orange sweatshirt i love the idea of wearing orange as we're moving more into the fall season and um i like that this sweatshirt was a bit more voluminous and it had like it was more roomy and billowy and it was just really important for me to choose a pair of skinny jeans just so i could make sure i was giving myself volume proportion something a little bit more fitted on the bottom if you're going to have something a little bit more looser and voluminous on the top so that's just a general rule for style making sure that you have volume proportion so you can look the most so your so your clothes can look more flattering on you now I did, I also chose brown ballet flats just because I wanted to go for more of a everyday casual look. And I felt like the brown ballet flats just pulled the look all the way together. Uh, this is great for a day when you wanna be warm and cozy, but still polished. And you can also accessorize the outfit with a long necklace if you choose, or for more personal flair, if you just wanna wear hoops like me girls. Make it do what it do. For the sixth look, I chose a white collar button down by A New Day. And then I also chose these wide leg denim pants also by A New Day. And it was really important for me to choose this outfit because I feel like as women, we need a go-to outfit. It needs to be like your uniform. Always have a uniform that you have in your closet that you just 
pull out and it's like completely waiting for you to put it on. Um, and I don't want you to ever underestimate the impact that a white button down and a pair of denim jeans can actually have on your overall appearance. It really is quite chic and really polished. So, and it's the most simple thing. It's like a no brainer. You don't have to think about pulling out a white collar shirt. The only thing you need to do is iron it and make sure your denim doesn't have like any rips in it. I mean, if that's the look that you're going for, then fine. But for this look, obviously didn't have rips in it. And wide leg jeans are really trendy right now. They've been in season four. Uh, they've been trending for like three, two to three seasons now. So uh, for fall, they're still around. So that very wide leg pant look that uh, those trousers, wide leg jean trousers, or these are wide leg denim trousers actually. So that wide leg denim trouser look or just the wide leg pant look, that is really, really in right now. So I thought that that would be super cute with this out, for, with this uh, white button down blouse. And then I had to throw in a little punch of color, add a little bit of impact to this outfit, just to give it a little bit of excitement. So I added these pointed toe red flats and this just makes the outfit look even more stylish, even more chic, and of course, I cannot forget my hoops. For the last outfit, I decided to style this simple striped shirt dress. Now in an ideal world, this dress would be ironed. It's, it, it really, really would, but Target didn't want to let me be great for this try on haul. So it's wrinkled, but just ignore that this time around for the sake of this video. Um, I did pair this dress with the same red flats, just so you can see the versatility in those pointed toe red flats. It also really gives this outfit a lot of stylish flair and it elevates the look. I like the whole idea of matching a print with like a solid color. So you got the the print stripe, you know, shirt dress, and then you've got that solid red bold, like bow when your face flat. So I love it. And um, I think a shirt dress is quick, it's easy, it's comfortable to wear. And I think as women, we also need to have a go-to dress in our closet, especially when we wanna switch it up from active wear and jeans. So always be thinking about like one of those dresses that you can just reach for very quickly to pull, just just to pull over your head or just a button right quick or zip up. Uh, I chose this because I thought that it was really cute and simple and yet very chic. And the fabrics were so comfortable, I just loved it. So again, all of the links to these items will be down in the description box, ladies. So please check them out if you are interested in any of these items. Hopefully this shows you more of a realistic way to do this. Um, I felt like me actually filming it in the store was very, very like real. Like I wanna, I wanna be real. And um, sometimes like these lookbooks that are put together, it's, it's so curated and it's so over the top that it's just like not as realistic. So I love the idea of actually just going into the department store or wherever store I'm gonna go to like go look at clothes and then try them on and then style them in the store. I think it's real. It's like, it's real, real women do this. So I want that to translate on through video as well. Like I'm a real woman, I do real things and I try my clothes on, on in the store just like you do. And I actually think about how to put things together while I'm in the uh, dressing room, so. Yeah, I just wanted to share that all with you. I got that idea from Erin Busby. I absolutely love her channel. Like, hopefully one day she'll be like my mentor in real life. But right now, she's just my virtual mentor. So if you guys aren't familiar with Erin Busby, go check out her channel. But yeah, she definitely gave me like a great idea to just go ahead and like try on the clothes at the stores, do your haul there. And then when you wanna do like your little fun lookbooks, Film them when you have the time and the coins, girl. 
All right, well, that concludes this video. I hope that you all enjoyed the video. I hope that I was able to give you some really good tips to apply to your personal style and then also some ideas on pieces to add to your wardrobe. And moving forward, let me know any other requests that you have. That really helps me to be able to push out more content when I know what you want to see from me. So make sure you chat with me down in the comment section. I'm always responding to you all. And I just thank you so much for the two ladies that did request this video. I, I'm really thankful. I hope I was able to fulfill your request. I hope that you got the information that you needed. And thank you so much again. If you're not a subscriber, girl, what you waiting for? Subscribe today. Don't forget to comment, like, share this video. Follow me on Instagram. Make sure you're following my blog so you can get more helpful tips. And um, I will see you all in the next video. Favor, peace, and blessings. Bye.